Hello everyone, this is Zane Reef. I'm the director of the University Union at the University of North Texas and I'm going to go over the Union Master Plan project for you presented by Perkins and Will Architects. First of all, the current Union was built in 1964 and then renega renovated again in the late 70s for about 17,000 students. Uh, that's about half of the population that we currently have and we see about 17,000 visitors daily into the Union currently. Uh, overall, we have about 2.7 million visitors annually that come in through the facility and we put on almost 9,000 events. So uh, you can see that we definitely have a lot of work to do with this facility being that it's over 46 years old. As you can see from this slide, we have a very old facility. Just to give you an idea of how old it is, it would cost $34 million just to renovate the mechanical, engineering, plumbing, and life safety for this facility. That would be no additions or upgrades to lounges, student org space, meeting rooms, dining, any of that uh, that would be something that would be very beneficial to students. Uh, again, we're limited in our ability to be sustainable in this facility and we have a lot of uh, you know, aging, aging qualities about the facility, whether it's the roof, uh, asbestos, all kinds of things that are happening within the facility. The most important thing that I want to get out in this next slide is that we've had lots of student involvement with this project. Uh, as you can see, we've, we've reached about 6,000 students to interact with them about the Union Master Plan. We've had about 300 educational sessions and we have about 200 that have been planned um, all the way up leading into the, the uh, SGA vote which happens on April 2nd. Uh, the other thing that, that's kind of nice to point out is that we've actually done two surveys throughout this process. One in October of 2009 when the original Union Master Plan had started. had a pretty good response rate of about 4,200 respondents. And we did it again in 2011. And one of the things that you're going to see in some of these future slides is that the things that the students felt were important in 2009 are the same things that students feel are important in 2011. So it means there's a lot of consistency in needs and what students want out of this project as we go forward. It's important that the, uh, the Union Master Plan had a mission statement and really this was developed by the students before we went into the project. Uh, just to kind of point out a couple of things, you'll see a lot of themes as we go through this process and you see some of the survey results. But a lot of these really point out uh, what, what were the most important things. The first one, making sure that we have robust infrastructure and reliable utilities. As I had previously said, it cost about $34 million just to get the building up to code. Um, and that's without any significant improvements that students would actually be able to see. Students said that they wanted it to be a technology-rich environment. They wanted it to be sustainable. Lots of bright and airy, significant natural light. They wanted to be able to walk through this facility and be able to know exactly where they needed to go or or where they're coming from so it was easy to navigate. And then really the, the other big theme that came out of this is students really wanted it to be branded with a UNT and make sure that this was a, a very pride-centric uh, facility that they could be proud of. This next slide is part of that survey that I talked about originally and this really just kind of points out that uh, you know the top three priorities for students were that it was sustainable, had a lot of technology, and that it was UNT branded. And you can see that kind of transferred over to that the, the mission statement that we had seen in the uh, in the previous slide. As you kind of go through here, you'll see some of the other top priorities for students, and this really came about after some of the conversations in those original Union Master Plan conversations. This program information slide really just gives you an idea of what the facility is and how it's broken down into. Uh, you'll notice that we have a lot of space for food service, a lot of space for our meeting rooms, student organization, student affairs. Um, just making sure that uh, we've met all of their needs and that uh, we've increased a lot of that, uh, a lot of those areas of the facility for students. Again, I just wanted to point out that uh, the next, this winter break survey was the one that was actually um, submitted in, in 2011 and again it matches a lot of those things that students wanted in 2009. Uh, to repeat myself, a lot of infrastructure, reliable utilities, technology rich, easy to navigate, all those things were important to students. And you can see that, that theme running throughout this presentation. Now we did have a couple directives that came from various uh, constituents on campus. And it's, just, it's really nice to, uh, to point these out, that these were, again, obviously things that were important to students. They wanted to make sure that the union connected to the Eagle Student Services Center. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we maximized our ability um, to go outdoor uh, of the facility and make sure that you feel, still felt like you were a part of the union. So may, making sure we um, maximized those connections. Uh, we wanted to make sure, since this is the main area for catering on campus, uh, we wanted to make sure that we had a large kitchen that could service our retail areas and also handle the catering for the entire campus. 
And of course, another couple things that students had pointed out earlier is that they wanted to make sure that they had a large atrium that they could walk through, that the syndicate um, and the one o'clock lounge were preserved and had really nice performance areas in them, and that the union really had a wow factor, that you, when you walked into this facility or you brought guests into the facility, you really felt like, wow, this is, this is an impressive building and really represents UNT well.